worship. Receive my worship all of my Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord Most High. Great is the faithfulness of our God. Hallelujah. We bless your name, O oh God. We bless your name. We praise your name. We honor your name. You are awesome in this place, Almighty God. You are worthy of all praise, Almighty God. Hallelujah. Great is thy faithfulness in all the earth. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, Holy Spirit of God. And welcome into our presence, welcome into our day, welcome into this time, welcome into this season. As we exist, O oh God Almighty, to please you, as we exist to honor you, as we exist to declare your majesty. We exist to demonstrate your goodness and mercy, your love, your joy, your peace. We exist, O oh God Almighty, to be an example of your goodness in the land of the living. We exist, O oh God Almighty, to bring glory to your name. We exist to declare your majesty. We exist to make people know that Jesus Christ is Lord. Hallelujah to the King of kings and Lord of lords. Great is the faithfulness of our Lord, our God, our Creator, and our King. And so this morning, for watch family we say honor to our king great is the faithfulness of our lord he came to die for us he rose again and he has cemented our fate he has decreed and declared that it is finished and we are free and who the sun sets free is free indeed and so no more slavery no more slavery no more slavery no more bond servant hallelujah we are free 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 god has set us free and so on this independence day we say happy independence happy independence hallelujah hallelujah great is our faithfulness i remember seeing some pictures of independence day 1962 because i was just a baby hallelujah just born glory to god and i saw some pictures and there was dancing and there was tears of joy there was celebration music was pumping people were gyrating doing all kinds of things celebrating freedom celebrating our opportunity to govern ourselves to determine our future hallelujah and so when we look at all of that celebration all of that dancing all of that they, they are just a hard position that says yes we have our own destiny in our hands we have our own lives in our hands father we thank you that you came to redeem us from the hands of the devil you came to give us independence that we would no longer be dependent on ourselves or on the ways of the enemy but we will become dependent on you which is still independent because you do not hold us as bond servant you hold us as free moral agents you hold us as some you hold us as free will people oh god almighty i thank you that you have not set us free as man says they set you free because we are still in bondage to man but we are free to you and so we thank you lord god almighty that your good hand is upon us to bless us to deliver us from every evil way and every evil thing we thank you lord god almighty that as we come into your presence in this fourth watch hour we thank you lord that you are watching over us covering us us, guarding us keeping us we thank you lord god almighty that right now you have dispatched angels ah even before we were formed in our mother's womb you dispatched angels today on this sixth day of august 2020 you dispatched angels before we were formed before the earth was created angels were dispatched to come into today and to protect us to cause our each and every one of us to wake up and to be who you have called us to be we thank you lord god almighty that this is not just an independence day for jamaica but it's an independence day for every jamaican all over the world and every jamaican's friend and every jamaican's family and extended family we declare today your independence day we declare that today you have been set free and made whole in the mighty name of 
Jesus Christ. We declare that no more will you be under bondage to Lucifer. No more under bondage to sickness and disease. We declare that this is the day that the Lord has made and we will rejoice and be glad in it. We will celebrate the goodness of the Lord. We will celebrate like, like August 6, 1962. We will celebrate, hallelujah, the goodness of the Lord. We will celebrate that no who the sun sets free is free indeed. It's time to say thank you, O King, for you are not just a part of our lives. You are our everything. You are the one that set us free. You are the one that broke the chains. Hallelujah, hallelujah. The songwriter says, I'm no longer a slave to fear. Hallelujah. And so because we are no longer a slave to fear, we come just now to say thank you, O King. You're not just a part of our lives. You are truly our everything. We don't mind being a bond servant to you, Lord. We don't mind working for you for free. We don't mind being slaves to you, Lord, because you are not a slave master like man. You are not, hey, Jesus. We might set out to work for free, but you always have a salary for us. You always pay us way exceedingly above all we could ask think or imagine when we do what you say to do you do not whip us or do not put us send us to bed with very little to eat what you do is you open the windows of heaven and pour out blessings that we do not have room enough to receive and so we thank you lord that as our servant master as our father as our lord as our god as our savior as our friend you are the exceedingly Exceedingly abundantly above all we could ask, think, or imagine. And so we thank you, Lord, that you have freed us from the slavery of man and the slavery of devils. We thank you, Lord God Almighty, that we are now free to do what we want to do, but we choose by our freedom and our free will to honor you, to work, walk according to your will and purpose. We choose to honor your word. We choose to speak your word. We choose to let your word be heard. Hallelujah. We choose to die dive into your word and so lord god almighty this morning as we arise with power as we arise with worship as we arise with healing in our bodies as we arise with joy in our soul as we arise with power in our spirit we declare this hour that jesus christ is lord yea unto the glory of god the father holy is the lord god almighty we sing praises of the Lord. Hallelujah. Sing praises of the Lord. You, his faithful people. Glory to God. As the as, as Jamaicans parted and danced. Hallelujah. Oh God Almighty. Hallelujah. As Jamaicans parted and danced for the, the Independence Day celebration. So we sing praises unto the Lord. Hallelujah. Every single day is Independence Day celebration for Christians. Every single day is independence day celebration for the fourth watch family because our god is faithful to his people hallelujah praise his holy name hallelujah he has set us free and we are free indeed and so we praise his holy name according to psalm 30 verse 4 to 7 hallelujah his anger lasts only a moment but his favor lasts a lifetime oh glory to god when we mess up when we do not do what we're supposed to do he might be anger for, angered for a moment but his favor lasts for a lifetime and so lord we thank you for your favor that is a lifetime upon us we thank you for your favor that will set us free from everything that easily beset us you will set us free from oppression you will set us free from from depression you will set us free from any vice or anything Oh God Almighty, that has kept us in bondage. We thank you, Lord, that your freedom is constant, consistent, persistent, and insistent in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, your word says, weeping may endure for a night, but rejoicing comes in the morning. So last night we may have been enslaved in our dream. Last night we may have been enslaved to any kind of immorality. Last night we may have been enslaved to the desires of our flesh. Last night we may have been slave to our mental mentality mental slavery as Bob Marley would call it but this morning hallelujah joy has come in this fourth watch hour the Lord has come and he has set us free 
Freedom has come. Independence has come. Hallelujah. We are no longer dependent on flesh. We are the best. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. When I felt secure, I said, I will never be shaken. Hallelujah. When we felt secure, that freedom has come. Wait, this last night we may have experienced fear. Last night we may have been instilled with doubt, with unbelief. Maybe last night our faith was shaken for a moment or yesterday things happened and we said oh my goodness how could this happen how what am i gonna do but let me tell you man because we believe in god because we believe that he is faithful today we are secure today we feel secure and we will never be shaken lord when you favor us you made us royal a royal mountain hallelujah and you made us as a royal mountain stand firm we stand firm this morning as a royal mountain we stand firm immovable the lord did not say that satan could command a mountain to be removed and chew and cast into the sea he said we could do that and so this morning i command every mountain in your life every mountain that stands against you no mountain must block you you are a mountain you block satan satan does not block you Remember Remember, we shift atmosphere. Atmosphere does not shift us. And so we are free. We are independent. We have power and authority. We speak to every dead thing in our lives. We speak to everything that the enemy has killed in our lives. And we command it to come alive now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And we command every tree that is in our lives that is not bearing fruit unto the joy of the Lord to die by fire. Every fig tree that is not bearing fruit every olive plant that is not bearing fruit in our lives every corn stalk every wheat every a hey, jesus everything that is not bearing fruit in our lives everything that is not progressive and productive in our lives we command them to die by fire every business that have been infiltrated by the enemy and tear planted in it we command it to die by fire and resurrect a new beginning and resurrect as a mighty mighty rushing wind to destroy the works of the enemy and to produce great fruit in the name of Jesus Christ. I release the fruit bearing anointing upon you this morning. I declare that in the name of Jesus, everything that has been killed for you, that has been arrested for you, that has been made dependent for you, I declare it free now in the name of Jesus Christ. I command your body, I command your soul, I command your spirit to be made free now, free now now free now every generational curse that has come against your marriage hallelujah we declare in the name of jesus christ of nazareth we declare that jesus christ of nazareth is lord hallelujah 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 we declare that the goodness of the lord is your portion we declare that the blessings of the lord is your portion and it will make you rich and add no sorrow and so i command every demonic force sent against your health this morning on this deliverance thursday i command every deliverance every demon in your life to come up and out now in the name of Jesus Christ every demon of cancer every demon of arthritis every demon of spiritual mind bending demon I command you now loose God's people in the name of Jesus Christ come out of God's people now in the name of Jesus every generational curse a broken family every generational curse a broken marriage every generational curse of, 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 of butting heads every generational generational curse hallelujah that has come down the umbilical cord into your life i command it to be severed with the sword of the spirit now and i command you to be loosed in the name of jesus christ of nazareth i declare that freedom has come to you today independence has come to you today every spirit of rejection i break your powers and i order you to go from god's people right now loose 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 in the name of jesus christ satan you have no power over god's people because god has given us power over you power to tread upon you and your friends power over all of your power we have authority and dominion we can bruise you we can stamp upon you we can sever you with the sword of the spirit and therefore your works have no effect in our lives and so every works of the devil that has produced sickness and disease every works of the devil that is about to produce divorce we reverse it in the name of jesus christ we cancel it in the name of jesus christ of nazareth 
every demonic force operating aye, to cause disturbance in the homes of God's people, in the lives of God's people. We break your powers. We cancel your assignment. Every demonic force of lust. Hallelujah. We break your powers and we command you to go now. Every demonic force of masturbation. Every demonic force of abuse. Every demonic force that is operating in, a, in, in God's people's sexual uh, desires. We break your powers and we order you now. Out in the name of Jesus Christ. Come out of God's people now in the name of Jesus Christ. Every demonic force that is designed for deception. You marine spirit of deception. You marine spirit of deception. I command you to deceive God's people no more. I order you out of God's people's lives now, 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 now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Be uprooted now. Be uprooted now. Be uprooted now. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Every spirit of distraction. Yes, you are distracted all the time. You can't focus. When you want to read the word, you are distracted. You have to go do something else. When you want to do to have conversations with your family you are distracted you always feel like you need to be doing something else there's always something to do because the enemy does not want you to bond with your family to bond and to be the best and the spirit of excellence is 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 distract distracted from you we break that spirit of distraction now in the mighty name of jesus christ and we command every spirit of distraction go from god's people now at the sound of my voice every spirit of distraction be uprooted now go 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 now, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, every spirit of manipulation, you're being manipulated by family, manipulated by children, manipulated by spouse, manipulated by demonic forces. We order every spirit of manipulation working against your life. Be broken now, be broken now, be broken now, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Every spirit of setback and underachieving, every spirit of setback and underachieving, every spirit spirit of poverty, lack and insufficiency, every spirit designed against God's business people to stop them from flourishing and prospering and being in good health even as their soul prosper. I command those spirits to go now in the name of Jesus Christ. Set back spirit. Hallelujah. Barrier spirit, blockading spirit, underachieving spirit. I order you now. Come out of God's people in the name of Jesus Christ. Loose them now. Loose them now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every spirit of broken marriage, I speak to you now. Spirit that blocks marriages from coming into being, I speak to you now. And I order you in the name of Jesus Christ. Be uprooted. Come on. Out, 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 out. Come on. Come on. Single women, begin to cough. Begin to cough. If you want to marry, Hallelujah, come on. And you've been desirous to marry for a long time. Hallelujah. Or even just yesterday, you get the desire to marry. Come on, you got to be loose from every marriage blocking spirit. Come on, come on, come on. Lay your hands on your stomach right now. Lay your hands on your stomach for your friends who you want to get married. Come on, if you have friends that are married, and, and if you are married, and you have friends that are not married, and they want to be married, hallelujah. And even if they are having, uh, they are married and they are having problems in their marriage, lay your hands on your stomach and command everything that is in your friend or in your own life to come up and out now in the name of Jesus Christ. Come on, after three, come on, you're going to cough and expel on behalf of your friends, on behalf of your family members, on behalf of yourself. Every marriage delaying, marriage destroying, marriage blocking spirit, I order you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, be uprooted now. <coughs> come up, <coughs> out, <coughs> Out in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Come on, go, 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 go. Come on, expel them, expel them. Now, 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 now. Everything working against your marriage, be expelled now. Everything working against your future marriage, your marriage. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Loose, loose, loose now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Come on, you got to believe it. Come on, intercede for somebody. Come on, people of God. Especially you who have good marriages. Come on. You who have been blessed with the grace of a great marriage. Come on. We tear down. We are being uh, free today independence is coming to our lives today hallelujah we are independent today come on come on come on ah karaba sokondoroboku sheke nedebeke suturibianda speak a good marriage over your friends speak a good marriage over your family members come on release that which god has given you release that which god has given you and if your marriage is struggling come on claim that good grace of a good marriage 
Come on, claim it this morning. Claim it this morning. Claim it. If your marriage is good but it could be great, claim it as well. We command everything that the enemy is doing to cause one to settle, to cause one to be in low bar, to cause one to accept that which is not the best that God has to offer in your marriage. Hallelujah. We break it off of you now when we command it to come forth. The goodness of the Lord to come forth in your marriage. Blessings to your finances, to your health, to your children and to your children's children. And if you're in a marriage and you have not yet conceived or had children and you want to have children, I release the grace of a good marriage and children in the name of Jesus. I release the anointing for the fertility of your womb and the fert and the and the vim vigor and vitality of the sperm of the man. And I declare that when the two connect, ah, a prophet and a prophetess shall come forth in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I command every barren womb to become fertile now in the name of Jesus. I command every low sperm count to rise up to the maximum level even now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Those who desire to have more than one child i declare twin in your bloodline now in the name of jesus christ of nazareth hallelujah those who want even two and three i declare triplet anointing upon you in the mighty name of jesus christ of nazareth i cut you loose from every soul tie that has kept you bound every soul tie every soul tie every connection to any demon in your dream any spirit husband in your dream any spirit of your father any spirit of your mother that has passed on any spirit that the devil devil is using as a familiar spirit to hold you in a place of low bar to hold you in a place of bondage I pick it now in the name of Jesus Christ and I said Lucifer the Lord Jesus Christ rebuke you he rebukes your familiar spirits he rebuke your demonic principalities and powers and your spiritual wickedness in high places the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth rebuke you get your hands off of God's people now we have been made independent of you and of your works and we command you now leave our lives now 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 in the mighty name of jesus christ of nazareth come out we open the door and we let you out now in the name of jesus christ come on open that door i'm opening the door now come out out satan out all your principalities and powers out every spiritual wickedness that has come into my life over the years come on hallelujah every residue of any demonic assignment to my life every residue of umbilical cord that has come down to my father to my father's father ten generations back on my father's side and on my mother's side i cancel it by fire i sever it by fire i sever it with the sword of the spirit and i declare that a new generational blessing shall come forth out of me and unto my children and my children's children in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth hallelujah I release career anointings now career anointings in the name of Jesus Christ as you have been set free I fool you up now with the blessings of the Lord that make it rich and add no sorrow I open the floodgates of heaven upon you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth and I pour out blessings that you will not have room enough to receive I declare that you are the blessed of God and you are full of health you are full of wealth you are prosperous hallelujah in the name of jesus christ every spirit of infirmity is gone from you now jobs are opening up families are opening up careers are opening up business opportunities are opening up now in the name of jesus christ the lord says we have the power to call forth that which is not as though it were and so i declare this morning that jobs are released right now even jobs you're not qualified for on paper but god says because you are my son you qualify and so receive now receive favor receive favor receive favor in the name of Jesus Christ, those of you who own businesses, I command your business to begin to flourish now to the point where you are putting out on foot watch, hallelujah, that you need employees. I declare that you shall be seeking employees left, right and center because of God's expansive hand upon your business now in the name of Jesus Christ, hallelujah. Those of you who own restaurants, distribution companies, hallelujah, I ha 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 ha, hey, I declare the blessings of the lord upon you this morning in the name of jesus christ of nazareth and we thank you lord that we have been delivered we have been set free and we have been made whole in the mighty and matchless name of the lord jesus christ favor is our portion we are favored 
in the name of Jesus Christ. Good morning, good morning, and welcome on behalf of Prophetess Marsha Wade. I am Rowan Wade saying, Blessed be the name of the Lord. It is Independence Day in Jamaica, and we declare that under God, our nation will increase in beauty, fellowship, and prosperity, and play her part in advancing the welfare of the whole human race. And that's what we are doing in this Fourth Watch Hour. We are advancing the welfare of the whole human race by the blood of Jesus Christ, by the power of the Holy Spirit, and by the name of the Lord, the name that is above every name. Hallelujah, hallelujah. And so this morning, as usual, we want to just declare independence over every nation. It may not be the time when you were set free in the natural, but this morning we declare spiritual independence to your nation right now. We declare our eternal Father is blessing every land that the people of Fort Watch Hour, the family of Fort Watch Hour is de domiciled in. We declare our eternal Father is blessing that land. He is guarding us with, your might, with his mighty hand. He is keeping you free from evil powers and being your light through countless hours hallelujah to your leaders even this moment our great defender is granting true wisdom from above he's causing justice and truth to be ours forever in this land the land that he loves glory be to god man did not create any element of the earth god did and so he loves this land and he loves the people uh, that he has put in the various lands and so he's willing if you will ask him to change and to, to to do what needs to be done in the land in jesus name hallelujah hallelujah you know since monday i've been wanting to just say a, a short prayer uh my heart has been broken by some of the news that i've been hearing people of god i don't know how many of you have been in touch with this news and i've been hearing about the persecutions of christians that are taking place in countries like china in countries like india in countries like iran they are beating and even killing christians and i'm telling you man I, I had to, I, I, I guess the Lord wanted me to get to a place where my heart was guarded and that I recognize that he has seen it all. He saw it before he came and he saw it after he came and he's still seeing it now and he's not perturbed or disturbed. He has a better plan so I can't afford to get emotional and so I've had it written down on a paper to pray for these Christians in these nations but I just could not seem to get around to saying it yesterday. It was in between the people that that I prayed for and I skipped over it and didn't even realize it was not my intention but today God says you can pray for them today because your heart is now in a place of my spirit and not in a place of emotions because I was I was gonna call down fireman I was gonna ask the Lord to destroy those persons in those nations that are doing those things but when you are free you don't ask for people to be killed or to be put in bondage come on God does not hallelujah I have to find out what spirit I am of because the son of man the Lord Jesus Christ did not come to destroy men but that men might be saved and so those persons who are doing these things in these countries persecuting christians they are they are under bondage they are blinded by the evil of lucifer's uh, in uh, lucifer's com control and so we have to pray for them that like us their eyes will be open like saul and we need an ananias to go find them and to pray for the scales to fall off their eyes because let me tell you man any religion or people or skin color or anything that one has that you have to destroy someone else to prove that you are superior you are really inferior your religion is inferior if you think you have to persecute someone else to show that yours is strong that is inferiority you must learn to coexist and when you coexist you will find out who is real who is the strong one who is the powerful one who is the one that god and endorses it but you're afraid to find out you all you people in those various nations uh the, what, whatever you believe we have no problem have you ever heard of christians killing off muslims or, or or hindus or any of those people no we don't do that because we know jesus christ is lord we know that he has set us free and who the sun sets free is free indeed we know that we have the authority and the power to tread upon serpents and scorpions so we don't have to prove ourselves to anyone and so this morning lord jesus christ of nazareth we thank you 
that you right now are sending angels to the nations that are persecuting ah lord i thank you you're sending our ah, god almighty angels to, to to russia hallelujah to china hallelujah to india to iran and to all those uh the saudi south south african countries and and, and north african countries oh god almighty where there are other religions all over the world oh god almighty that cannot coexist or don't want to coexist with your people i thank you lord god almighty that you will strengthen those who are being persecuted and i thank you lord that the persecutors you will touch them like you touch saul and that you will cause them oh god almighty to have a testimony like saul had a testimony that he used to persecute christians but now he's a bond servant to the lord now he chases after people to win them for the lord jesus christ i thank you lord god almighty that you will not allow them to be discouraged but every spirit of discouragement you will cancel it off of their lives in the name of jesus christ i release peace of god into the christians in those nations and i declare oh god almighty that they will overcome in jesus name amen and amen and amen hallelujah 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 blessed be the name of the lord we must always pray for our brothers and sisters in the various nations you know we often take for granted because we are free in the places and spaces where we are hallelujah that it is okay but i'm telling you this day man freedom is not according to your situation or your position it is your your state of mind i said this earlier this week and i'm I, i'm more resolved and more and more hallelujah believing strengthened by it now it is your state of mind and when you are free you are able to free others so on this independence day i declare that our dependence jamaica's dependence on foreign countries we sever it in the name of jesus christ our unholy and any unholy alliances to other countries that would want to push immoral acts upon us because of monies that they lend us or grants that they give us i sever that now now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth just like the slave owners gave the slave the, 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 the slaves a little bit of food and a little bit of, 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 of water or drink ah uh, in, in exchange for their work hallelujah that was not enough they needed true freedom and independence I declare true freedom and independence must come to our nations now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth we declare freedom now freedom has come in the name of jesus we are independent ah god almighty and only dependent on the lord who is a good good master and savior and lord in jesus name amen and amen hallelujah glory to god glory to god okay so we want to jump right into some scriptures hallelujah we know that you know that we are on uh, we did the belt of truth and now we're on the breastplate of righteousness yesterday we went into what the breastplate of righteousness is how, how it protects the organs how it protects us uh, through righteousness hallelujah because the breastplate the breastplate is the breastplate of righteousness righteousness protects us righteousness shields us righteousness the bible says a curse without a cause cannot stand a curse without a cause cannot stand when we are wearing the armor the breastplate of righteousness when righteousness goes before us let me tell you man no matter what anyone says about us hallelujah no matter what anyone tries to do to us hallelujah it shall not penetrate our breastplate it cannot have any part or lot with us and so when you hear some people talking about man i'm always in warfare i'm always in warfare you got to check your righteousness check your righteousness check your righteousness and i'm not saying that people who are walking in righteousness cannot be in warfare but if you are constantly in warfare that means a curse has been released against you and if the curse is standing then there is something missing some open door some portal come on god cannot lie man there is a time and a season for everything and so if we are walking in righteousness therefore we are above the legitimacy of any curse and therefore we might have a season of a storm but it's only a season and we will get through that season because there is a peace be still if we will learn what we need to learn and earn what we need to earn so what is it that righteousness is supposed to do for us okay let's get into colossians 3 hallelujah and see what we can accomplish out of colossians 3 between today and tomorrow in the name of jesus christ okay so colossians 3 
says, uh, it, it, the, the topic in my Bible says, not carnality, but Christ. Not flesh, but Christ. Not the desires that we have in our soul, but Christ. Hallelujah. So, verse 1 says, If then you were raised with Christ, seek those things which are above, where Christ is sitting at the right hand of God. If you were raised with Christ, what is that raise talking about? That raise is talking about the resurrection of Christ. Independence from the tomb. Independence from the persecution of man. Independence from the things that, 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 that holds down our flesh. Independence of mental slavery. Independence of the devil's influence. Come on. Hallelujah. Independence on this Independence Day. God is saying, if you were raised with Christ, hallelujah, seek those things which are above. Stop looking eye level. Stop looking down. Stop looking back and look up to the hills from whence cometh your help. Because you have been raised with Christ. You have been made independent. Hallelujah. Free through Christ who is seated at the right hand of God. And remember, he says that we are seated with him in heavenly places, far above principalities and powers. Come on, hallelujah. We got to believe this people of God. Once we have been resurrected with Christ, hallelujah, we are resurrected above our captors. We are resurrected above our imprisoners. We are resurrected above our slave owners. And so the breastplate of righteousness is what demonstrates that we are resurrected unto freedom. Hallelujah, glory to God we are resurrected hey, Jesus resurrected unto freedom hallelujah glory to God and and, and I want to just make a reference to to that breastplate of righteousness that I just spoke about when you are when you were in the Roman army hallelujah not you hallelujah when the Roman once a soldier was in the Roman army and he was trained and ready to go once they came together and they had on their armor and went out they were they were confident that no army could stand against them they would defeat everyone because not only were they together but they were protected come on glory to God and so when we are risen with Christ hallelujah we have an army of angels going with us or oh, I feel the presence of the Lord we have an army of angels that are battling with us and our shield is the wrap the shield of righteousness we have on the whole armor of God therefore we shall not fear those that come against us because there is more with us than against us and we have on the armor of God that means righteousness holiness and truth is our portion therefore we can speak and call forth and decree and it shall be established in the name of Jesus Christ so you got to understand what the, the breastplate of righteousness gives us access to it gives us access to protection access to blessings access to, to, to an army access to invincibility hallelujah glory to god verse 2 says set your mind on things above hallelujah not on things on the earth hallelujah we begin to live in the realm of the spirit and not in the natural hear me carefully when you are walking in the breastplate of righteousness righteousness means right living right living means right obeying right obeying means obeying the the, the word of God hallelujah that word that comes from the belt of truth once we're obeying that word we are walking in righteousness and when we are walking in righteousness we have no choice but to set our minds set our eyes set our whole body soul and spirit on the things above come on hallelujah and above does not mean that we are so heavenly bound that we are no earthly good. But we are heavenly bound because we are taking that which is in heaven. Living by the rules of heaven. Living by the blessings of heaven. Living by the things that are available to us in heaven on earth come on hallelujah that's why god desire for us to be free that we might live in the earth supernaturally ah but all of what we need to live supernaturally is linked by word at our waist and righteousness in our on our inside shielding and allowing righteousness to come forth out of us that way we look to heaven and heaven comes down and we 
control earth by that righteousness. Come on, hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Verse 3 says, For you died and your life is hidden with Christ in God. You died when you said, Jesus Christ, I receive you. I accept you. You made a commitment to join the army. As one who were just a Roman citizen, made a commitment to join the Roman army and become a soldier. We, were, we made a commitment to join the army of the Lord. And so the old man died and the new man lived. Hallelujah. And so we made a commitment and we are now hidden in Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. With Christ in God. Verse 4 says, When Christ, who is our life, appears, then you also will appear with him in glory. Hallelujah. So when the commander appears, look if you if you go back to the story of the soldiers who came for Elijah. When they rode up, the rest of the people in the army didn't speak. Hallelujah. The, 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 the battalion, the legion didn't speak. The people, the, the, the soldiers didn't speak. Just the commanding officer. Hallelujah. He's the one that called out to Elijah. The commanding officer is who speaks, man. And this, in this case, the commanding officer was outside of the of the of the um of the other soldiers, and he spoke on their behalf. But in our case, our commanding officer, our superior general, our president, our prime minister, our great 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 God, he speaks from inside of us, and so we are now the commander in chief. We are now the general. We are the one with the authority and power to call forth the. Speak to the clear, to the decree, to call fire on every demonic work in our homes, in our lives, in our businesses, in a, against the people we serve and against those who serve us. We now have the authority to command them to go and to come. Hallelujah. The centurion said to the Lord Jesus Christ, you do not need to come into my house. I do not, I, I do not deserve to have one such as you set foot in my house, but you are a man of authority as I I am a man of authority and when I say go they go and when I say come they come Aye, and Jesus was impressed if you want Jesus to be impressed with you you got to know your authority you got to know you were independent from being a bond servant and you are now the boss oh come on hallelujah you are now the boss the God who is the sovereign boss lives in you and he says whatsoever you bind on earth is bound in heaven whatsoever you loose on earth is loosed in heaven so get to binding and loosing get to speaking peace be still come on get to speaking over your situations and circumstances too many Christians are still acting like we are enslaved we are enslaved by sickness and disease because we're not laying hands upon ourselves and declaring God by your authority I command every word that you have spoken concerning me to come to pass in my body, soul, and spirit, my mind, will, and emotion. I declare that the storm of cancer, the storm of arthritis, the storm of diabetes, the storm of hypertension, the storm of any, main, any major ailment or minor ailment, be made whole, be still now in the name of Jesus Christ. Come on, we have that. Because we are risen with him in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Verse 5 says, Therefore, put to death your members which are on the earth. Come on. You know what that means. That means if you are now a supernatural being, your members that are in the earth, these members that we can see, we no longer live by them. We no longer are sensitive to what our flesh desires and need. We are no longer controlled by this or by that, that the, the other head down the bottom. We are no longer re required or desired to do what, what our flesh desires to do or what the world system says we're supposed to do. We must bring to death our members. That means our fleshly desires must die and our spiritual desires must live. Hallelujah. So we no longer live in the earth. And I'm telling you, it is possible, man. Every day, say, Lord, protect me from me. Lord, let my members that makes me sensitive to sin in the earth die and let the Spirit of God take full control of me. For I want to be a son in the fullness 
of sonship led by your spirit and if i am walking in flesh i cannot be led by your spirit fourth watch family members i i beseech you this day in the name of the lord jesus christ begin to declare before the lord that you are no longer a slave to flesh you are no longer a slave to fear you are a spirit being walking in authority and power you have to practice it to see it you have to practice your freedom hallelujah if you stay in the cell even when the officer says you can come out you are still imprisoned in the name of jesus christ hallelujah hallelujah it says hallelujah the members on the earth fornication uncleanness passion evil desire and covetousness which is idolatry all these things we are supposed to be dead to because we are supposed to only worship the lord jesus christ verse 6 says because these things Hallelujah. The wrath of God is coming upon the sons of disobedience. When these things, you know, there's a, there's a, we misunderstand when preachers preach the grace message, when teachers teach the grace message. I know because I once used to, sorry, there's a, there's a pastor from, I think, Singapore, who every time I turn to him, back in the past i used to see him preaching about grace and that you can do this and you can do that as christians and i used to get frustrated and annoyed and upset with him because i'm saying how can you be saying this without any kind of qualification you're saying that people are free to do what they want but unless they get to the place where they have died to flesh unless these things have died in them and they are walking by spirit they will still do certain things and say i have grace i can do it and that's why so many Christians sometimes too many in my view are saying don't judge me I'm only human no you're not no you're not the word says therefore put to death your members which are on this earth you're no longer only human you are only a child of God glory to God and so what am I saying? This is not to, to, to judge anyone who is struggling, to judge anyone who, who, who is on their journey. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying if you are in obedience as the breastplate of righteousness dictates, it says, therefore, you are putting, putting. So there, this says put to death, but because of the process of life and how we operate, we are every day putting to death our members. Come on, glory to God. And so don't feel condemned. Don't feel like because you're struggling with something, hallelujah, and you hear Pastor Wade says that you're not supposed to be uh, uh, adapting to that or, or, or acquiescing to that or being subjected to that or being enslaved to that. Come on, it doesn't mean that you need to give up and say, oh man, I'm never going to make it. No, that's not what we're saying. I'm saying we have to come in agreement and we have to join and link in prayer and you got to say lord protect me from me lord defend me from my flesh lord i put to, to death the members that desire evil from my body in the name of jesus christ and i declare that i am a son of god i am led by your spirit and not by my soul in the name of jesus and all you got to do is just keep declaring that every day man and watch what god will do you look back and say i don't know when i got to this place of maturity when i move from milk to hard food because god don't always revel reveal the steps that we are taking the journey and the successes he just give us a big chunk and we look back and say wow what a miracle i have made it a long way ah you've come this far by faith Woo. he never failed me yet hallelujah Hallelujah. Verse 6 says, Because of these things, the wrath of God is coming upon the sons of disobedience. Verse 7, In which you yourselves once walked when you lived in them. And so we have to be mindful because we once were as the sons of disobedience. We once walked in covetousness and in desires of the flesh and in evil uncleanness and in fornication, in evil concupiscence. We once used to walk in those things. And so we have no cause or no authority and no right to condemn anyone else. Hallelujah. When God had to minister to me that, son, you can't condemn those people who are killing Christians in these countries. Ah, oh, God. 
God, that was painful and hard for me to take, man, because I love my brothers and sisters all over the world. I love my people. Hallelujah. But God says, it is not just those who are your blood that you must love, but those who are your neighbors. Glory to God. So I had to come back and say, all right, God, thank you. Hallelujah. And so we got to pray for those who are, who are blinded at the moment. I once used to be blinded, man. I wasn't killing or condemning anyone. Hallelujah. But I was doing evil. I right, The breastplate of righteousness was not upon me. And so now that the breastplate of righteousness is upon me, I have to also be patient as others come into the fullness of putting on their armor. And more often than not, help them to put on that armor that they can come into the fullness of righteousness that God wants to bring forth out of the breastplate of righteousness. Glory to God. Verse 8. But now you yourselves are to put off all these anger, wrath, malice, blasphemy, filthy language out of your mouth. Come on, glory to God. And so, if you are still, I remember once I was talking to a pastor and he says, man, I'm telling you, when I get upset, I just tell you if I'm upset with a few bad words. I was a young Christian then and I this is somebody I looked up to and my spirit just got angry. I just was I I I, mm, I couldn't dishonor. I just I I was just you see this expression? That's how I was feeling on the inside because this was a senior man to me and and, and he was mentoring me at the time and and I was just ah oh. I'm saying, but see, in the word, I didn't even know that this word existed then. I just knew that a holy anger was risen up in me, man. Because you can't keep doing the things that are in the world or the things that you used to do in the world while you are risen with Christ and say that you are risen with Christ. Come on, glory to God. You got to put away those things as the scripture says. Hallelujah. So all filthy language must be out of your mouth, man. And there's a time when you have gotten to a certain level of maturity when you, st you, sh you shouldn't be doing immature things. Come on, glory to God. And so when one is at the place of milk or just transitioning between milk and hard food, that's fine. No issue. You, you chip a little bad word here and there. We hope that it doesn't happen. Um, and by bad word, I don't mean the real bad ones that the police could come for you for. But I mean just something that, you, that is bad that you shouldn't say because you're still not fully there yet but when you've gotten to the place of not only eating hard food but you're teaching people how to eat hard food if you're behaving like one who is still drinking milk something is wrong we're still not gonna throw you away or discard you or destroy you or condemn you but we're saying something is wrong you need to step aside for a moment because you have not put away foul languages you have not put to death your members and that needs to happen and so we need to set a an appointment for deliverance from that devil that you've been carrying that you haven't been delivered from in the name of Jesus Christ and then you can start again from the top you're not even gonna get demoted come on like some people in church we, 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 we demote people to the back bench we say you can't be on the choir anymore I agree my personal opinion if you are in sin if you are if a spirit of sin is oppressing you and you are on the choir bringing the presence of God into the into the building and that spirit is transmitting to persons that's not right it's not good but I'm saying that we should have an agreement that come my sister come my brother let's deal with this thing let's restore you and we take you off the choir for a little while we pray for you we get you back but you, you don't have to sit at the back bench for months after you have been delivered set free and made whole once you have been restored go back go worship if you were born to worship go worship because who the sun sets free is free indeed but I don't agree that we should know that you are in sin and say it's all right God will deal with it make her stay on the choir make him stay on the choir make him sin same way God will soon take care of it no my personal opinion I don't believe that but I believe you must be restored. And when you are restored, you have not lost your stripes. You have not been demoted to corporal from sergeant or from to sergeant from captain. You still remains your, re retain your captaincy and you go back to leading the army. Come on, glory to God. That's my personal opinion. It might differ from some of you and that's fine. We have no issue. In the God's kingdom, we are free to have our own revelation on a thing. But God told me, man, my gospel is the gospel 
gospel of reconciliation. Who is reconciled at the back of the church when everybody is asking, why she not sing? How come she can sing so good and she not no longer on the choir? Mm-mm. Maybe sin in her life. Maybe they, 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 have, they have set her apart and people leave church as a result. No. My thing is, come into a secret place privately with the leadership, deliver, set free, encourage, counsel, and whatever time is required for restoration to take place. And then you hit the road again, man. Take off like a plane. Maintenance has taken place. Now go back to flying and carrying people to the higher heights. Oh, come on. I, hey, I feel good about this this morning. Hallelujah. And that's what righteousness permits for us. When we have on the breastplate, man, we seek to protect others who are weak. We seek to, to band together as an army and go for where the enemy is trying to destroy people and restore them bring them back to their place where they feel protected they feel secure hallelujah glory to god hallelujah verse 9 do not lie to one another since you have put off the old man with his deeds hallelujah hallelujah do not lie to one another do not tell people that god is going to punish them do not tell people that they are they, as christians that because they have fallen that God has nothing to do with them, that God is angry and he has taken his face from them. No, my Jesus says, I will never leave you or forsake you. My Jesus says, I will redeem you, restore you. My Jesus says, I will reconcile you unto me. For when you confess your sin and your iniquities and place them before me sincerely, I will cast them into the sea of forgetfulness and their sins and iniquities I will remember no more. What does that mean? If he remembers them no more, he sees you now after they have been cast into the sea as if you have never done it oh come on hallelujah i hope i'm helping somebody this morning the breastplate of righteousness causes and requires for us to live like christ to think like christ to speak like christ and to do what christ requires for us to do and that is to reconcile all men unto him the rapist come on the murderer the liar, the idolater, every single person sin spells and smells the same way all the time it is always a stench in the nostril of god but he has given us hallelujah the azmat suit he has given us the suit to go in and clean up sin he has said that i have already done it and it is easy but we are allowing the stench to continue in the lives of our family members and friends our community and our nation because we are afraid of the stench but we don't smell it we are just a stench in Spectre. Come on, we got to get the push broom and go to work, man. Tell people that Jesus has already done it. Tell people that Jesus has already cleaned up their sin and they're not to worry about that or just come and put on the breastplate of righteousness that they might live and live life more abundantly in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. This word of God is so sweet, man. When you get it, it goes into your gizzard and change you from a lizard. Ah, oh, God Almighty, remove the wizard. Hallelujah. And make you a mighty warrior. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Verse 10 says, And have not put on the new man, hallelujah, who is renewed in knowledge according to the image of him who created him. Hallelujah. 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 Let me read that verse 10 again. And have put on the new man. We have to put on the new man. That's what the breastplate of righteousness is. A new man. Let me tell you, man, I did not know what righteousness really was right living right acting right obedience right way of thinking right way of speaking i did not know any of those things while while i was in sin and so i had to put on this breastplate of righteousness connect it to the belt of truth and so word is what produces righteousness the word of God produces righteousness. And so, hallelujah, glory to God. Hallelujah. We have to stop here this morning. But look, we're going to pick up from verse 11 and go through to the end, to verse 25. Come tomorrow because we're coming off a of breastplate. Well, I don't know what depends on what the Lord wants to do. But this righteousness thing, man, is important. Righteousness is not just you being perfect. You being all good and, and, and in your righteousness, in your own righteousness or your own breastplate. But it is helping others to put on, to identify, first of all, 
what the breastplate really does for them. Help them put on theirs and help them fix it until it fits perfectly and then walk with them as the Roman army walk together knowing that you are powerful to overcome. So set your heart, man, as you have put on the breastplate of righteousness and walking in it, set your heart now not to parade and to beat your chest and to say, look at my breastplate, how beautiful it is. Look at how righteous I am. Look at how powerful I am. Look at how good I am. But to say, look at how well God is using me. Hallelujah. Look at how God is using me to be a blessing to others. So that they too can be in the army of the Lord. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thanks be to the name of the Lord. I hope this morning that that was helpful so far with this breastplate of righteousness hallelujah join us again tomorrow man when we will go into hallelujah the breastplate of righteousness and hopefully we can fully bring the revelation on what it is what it is used for and how we are supposed to ha act and live and speak once we have on the breastplate of righteousness god is faithful god is good god is kind it's time for our communion glory to god father we thank you this morning hallelujah for your good hand upon us thank you this morning oh god almighty that you are the forgiving god who said that you will restore us once we sincerely ask for forgiveness for jesus has already paid the price for every sin that we could ever commit all we have to do is say lord we repent and stop it and god will take care of it and so father we thank you this morning for every thought, every word, and every action that we have committed against you in ignorance, that, Lord, you have already forgiven us as we ask, and you have set us free and made us whole to eat of your body and drink of your blood. In Jesus' name, amen. We ask you this morning to sanctify and consecrate these emblems, O God. Bless them to our bodies that they will encourage us, that they will empower us, that they will strengthen us, that they will heal us, deliver us, set us free, and make us whole, that they will cause us to, to, to put, bring our bodies under subjection, to mortify our flesh, that we might live as spirit beings and be an example, like the Roman soldiers were, were, were so impressive that the children would look on and say, I want to be like them when I grow up. So must others see us as the army, the soldiers of Christ, and say they want to be like us. Hallelujah. Not when they grow up, but immediately because your word says, young men, I call upon you because you are strong. So sanctify this body and blood, O God, that we can be truly ah, ah, immersed in your army. In Jesus' name, amen. And so the Lord Jesus Christ took the bread, he broke it, he blessed it, he gave it to the disciples and he said, eat, this is my body broken for you. As often as you do it, you do it in remembrance of me. Eat ye all of it in faith, in Jesus' name. Mm. Mm. Hallelujah. And likewise, he took the cup, he blessed it, he took a sup, and he gave it to the disciples. He said, Drink, this is my blood, the blood of the new covenant, the blood of the new testament. As often as you drink it, you do it in remembrance of me. We're seeing now in Colossians where it talks about resurrected in Christ. The resurrected life is our portion as we drink his blood in Jesus' name. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. Thank you for those in the watch parties. Thank you for those who are sharing. I see a slight increase in those persons who are subscribing to our YouTube page so we can start. Uh, doing live from YouTube guys I, 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 I ask you we need this other avenue let it be a part of your ministry just go to Liberty for Living Ministries uh, um, RMW that means Rowan Marsha Wade Liberty for Living Ministries RMW as soon as you come off if you have not yet subscribed just type it in Bring up that page, 
When you see it, just press subscribe and then you can leave. It doesn't even take 30 seconds. It's part of the ministry of spreading the gospel of Jesus Christ. We want to expand the avenues that we are using. And so we need for you to share. We need for you to like. We need for you to subscribe so that more people can get and receive what God is doing through us and through you, each and every one of you. Part of your ministry. See it as that so that we can get to that number. We're still far, far, far. Hallelujah. 90% more to go. But we are on the road. We have started. And so while we might be drinking milk now, hard food is close by. We believe it and receive it in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you so much. Hallelujah. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord lift up the light of his countenance upon you and give you his peace. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Go forth and have a great day God's way. For God has already shaken everything that is evil out of your day his way. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Come on, man. Have a great time. Have a good day. And tomorrow is Celebration Friday. We're going to celebrate, hallelujah, the independence. We're celebrating independence all of this week. We are independent of flesh and dependent only on spirit. Go forth and be led by the spirit because you're a son in Jesus' name. Have a great one. Jesus love you. And we love the whole of too. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God bless you.